Google's Chrome for iOS has been updated with some really cool features. Hi and welcome to another episode of the Car Vlog Show. Stefan Svartling here. Google continues to make the Google experience for iOS better and better. That I'm talking about a lot of times and did some videos about. Uh, they have now released a new updated Chrome for iOS with a lot of cool features. You can now share very easy, very easily to Google+, Twitter and Facebook directly from the menu in Chrome and that is amazingly good and very useful, really useful. I really like that. One thing though, they have also added that you can share by email and then uh, it uses Apple Mail. Apple Mail is good, I don't complaining. But why don't do the same in Chrome as they did in Google Plus app uh, by linking uh, the Gmail app? Why not share by the Gmail app, their own Gmail app? Exactly as they did in the Google Plus app with uh, open links in Chrome. So we have to choose between Safari and Chrome in Google+. Plus. We have that now. Why not have the ch choice to choose between um, Gmail or Apple Mail in Chrome? That's what I think Google should do. If they will do the Google experience on iOS, they need to link their apps together and by adding that feature to Chrome open or share in Gmail app instead of Apple Mail then they have linked Chrome Gmail and Google Plus together really cool but uh, why not why didn't you do that Google I don't get it I mean in Google Plus app you did it if you have Chrome installed that option is visible in the Google Plus app open link in Chrome so do the same in uh, Chrome if the user have the Gmail app installed share with Gmail add that feature if the user have Gmail installed you can't can't be hard to do that but anyway Google Chrome for iOS is incredible good and it gets better and better and um, it now have uh, parts of the Google experience on iOS by sharing to Google Plus very easy uh, I know you can do that with a Google bookmark anyway directly from Safari if you like but um, this share window that opens is better in Chrome than the bookmarklet because now you can link to users in the comment field directly you can't do that in the bookmarklet uh, it doesn't work I've tried that many times but the user didn't uh, get linked in the post but uh, from uh, Chrome the user gets linked to in, in the post so sharing to Google Plus is better from Chrome than the bookmarklet. So if you haven't tried Google Chrome yet, do that now. It's great. Google Chrome for iOS. Try it. Another thing, some images leaked out on the web yesterday with a USB cable for the next iPhone, the iPhone 5 with a smaller dock connector in one end and a USB connector in the other. And I posted about that on Google Plus uh, and uh, asked if someone could uh, tell if the USB connector uh, supported USB 3.0 or only USB 2.0. Maybe you have seen my video when I talked about that, that I think that um, the smaller dock connector will support USB 3.0 because uh, all the MacBooks has been updated with USB 3.0 and uh, 
So it's, it's just logical that uh, the iPhone 5 will also support USB 3.0. So hopefully the dock connector, the smaller dock connector on the iPhone supports USB 3.0. And um, I thought someone could um, see that on these images, but I have still not got an answer on that. The photos of this USB cable looks very true, so I think it's the real deal. Smaller dock connector in one end and the USB connector in the other. But I would like to know if it is USB 3.0. Really interesting. But that could also mean that, mean that it's not Thunderbolt compatible, the smaller dock connector. Because then uh, we had seen a Thunderbolt connector in the other end, too. So, I don't think it will support Thunderbolt, or we will have two different cables. One uh, with a USB connector in the other end, and one with a Thunderbolt connector in the other end, of course. So, it still don't know if it supports both USB 3.0 or Thunderbolt and Thunderbolt. But if we only have one cable in the box and, uh, and so on, then I don't think it will support, support Thunderbolt, only USB. But then I really like it to be USB 3.0. It must be USB 3.0 because then it, it will be a lot faster to transfer my video files to my Mac. So that was uh, two interesting news that happened late evening yesterday here in Sweden really cool both news I think Google unveiled some um, new notifications features in Google Plus too I don't know if I like them yet because I'm afraid that uh, it will kill the interaction and discussion because users mute people and uh, uh, make them in circles that uh, didn't, doesn't get in the stream and so on. I don't know yet if I like it, but because of all that stopping notifications to users, I, I have never liked that because personally I like all notifications. I want them all. I have them in my email, I have them in uh, my browser when I open, open it and uh, everywhere so I like notifications because I don't want to to miss a reply for example because I always reply on Google Plus always so I don't want to miss a notification so I don't like this um, hiding and of notifications and, uh, and so on I want users to see my posts. I want users to see a discussion going on. I want them to reply when I reply to them and so on. This new notification features you can mute a notification from a specific user for example if it's a noisy user or something then you can mute the notification from that user. I think that's a great feature though because some uh, users I don't follow put my name in their post because they want me to see their posts and uh, I don't like that because they do that all the time and uh, now I can mute those persons, those users so I don't get the notifications from their posts I don't follow them, I don't want notification of their posts so that's great but I can think of ways misusing this too so it kills discussions I'm afraid of that okay I'm at my work now so we have to quit this part of today's car vlog show bye okay I'm back from work now so we continue this episode of the car vlog show after being using the new Google Plus notification features I admit that I was a bit wrong about them. They are quite good. I really like to be able to mute users uh, 
notification from users so they can't share their photos and uh, other stuff they want me to see because it's a lot of users that are doing that and I don't even follow them so it doesn't help to unfollow a user they can still share their stuff with you so the mute feature is really great I really love that and uh, being able to add users to a circle and decide that that circle should uh, every post that uh, gets posted from the users in that circle uh, will show up in your notification stream so you will never miss a post from that circle that means that you can have a few of your favorite users a user like me for example of course you will have me in such a circle don't you uh, you can have a few favorite users on Google Plus in a specific circuit and choose to have all those posts come up as a notification for you. So you never miss that post. I think that's a brilliant idea. Um, I really would like to start using that. But a feature that is missing is that I would like to see notifications from posts that shows up from an advanced Google Plus search. So for example, if I do a real advanced Google Plus search uh, that I want to see posts that uh, from a specific topic that I like, for example, every time a user in your all your circles posts about that topic you will have a notification about that that is something i really would like to see too and it couldn't be hard for google to that i think because you can save a search and why not uh, in the settings of that search also choose show up as a notification or something that would be really awesome really useful for me so for example, if someone posts about a favorite app that I like or something that I want to, to read about, then I could uh, choose to have notifications about that topic. That would be brilliant. Uh, in uh, an advanced Google Plus search, you can choose to have posts uh, from uh, those you follow or from anyone. and. Uh, you can choose to post from a specific uh, circle and so on. So that would be really awesome to have notifications from a specific topic. I hope Google will have that. I really hope that. So I admit I was a bit wrong. Uh, the new notification features in Google Plus is great. I really like them. And Google Plus gets better and better. I really love Google Plus. It's it's everything for me online. I I can't be without Google Plus. I really like Google Plus. I wish more users could uh, engage and interact more, though. But um, I see new users uh, that interact almost every day, and that's cool. Uh, recently. Mashable did a post about some um, Google Plus circles that uh, was good and uh, the, um, the first circle in that article was from Robert Scoobel and in that circle I am in so I got around a thousand new followers over uh, on one day that's cool but uh, how many of those new thousand users users will engage and interact that's the problem you get a lot of users following you but it's hard to have them interact but as I said I think Google is onto something big here Google Plus will be really big and uh, when people start seeing that Google Plus is so much more than just another Facebook or Twitter or something. It's so, so much more than that. 
when users start seeing that, we will see a lot more users because uh, if you think about it, Google has a really big, really huge user base. If you have all those users that have a Google account, Gmail, everything, Blogger, all that, if all those users start using Google+, Plus, then I think Google Plus will be a lot bigger than, than Facebook, for example. But that is not uh, the point here. Who cares if Google Plus is the largest social network, the largest service? Who cares? I mean, Google Plus is already now, even if it doesn't have so much users as uh, Facebook, a lot better place to be. A lot more interaction, a lot more engagement. I have never seen so much interaction in my whole life anywhere else on the web. Nowhere. I think people that doesn't see that, they, they haven't tried Google Plus and they have thought that of Google Plus as a Facebook and try to get their friends and family to Google Plus. I mean, that is so wrong. Google Plus is not for your family and friends. Of course, they can be on Google Plus. But Google Plus is to add interesting people to your circles, no matter if you don't know them or from a different country or something. It doesn't matter. Add people that you think are interesting to your circles and you will see that Google Plus will be a lot more interesting than Facebook and a lot more interesting to only have your real friends and family. <laughs> I mean, that is just the thing I hate about Facebook. Totally. It's so wrong to think that Google Plus is a new Facebook. I have seen so many users said to me on Facebook that Google Plus? No, no one uses Google Plus. It's here. My family and friends are here on Facebook. So why should I use Google Plus? I mean, so wrong. <laughs> I mean, I have 33,000 followers now on Google Plus. And I don't think, no, I'm sure. I don't know any one of them in real life. No one. No family, no real friends, 33,000 followers. I don't know any one of them, but I have a lot of fun on Google+. And that is the point. You should have fun 